Are you ready? All right, here we go. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Great job. I'm so glad to see you again today. Today we have four actions to do before we're going to start reading our Bible story today. Do you remember what they are? What's the first thing we're going to do? Point up to God the Father. Then what do we do? We'll make a cross for Jesus the Son. And then what will we do? Holy Spirit. Flames for the Holy Spirit. Very good. And a sign language thumbs up. Amen. Are you ready to do it with me out loud? Let's all do it together. Are you ready? We begin. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, today we're going to do a story about a woman named Lydia, and she was known for selling purple fabric. So I was thinking we should make a list of all the things that we can think of that are purple. What do you think? What's something that's purple? I'm ready. Flower. Flower. Great. What else? What's something that you eat? Purple that grapes. Purple grapes, yes. What's something else that's purple? Dress. A dress? Clothes? Yes, that's great. What else is purple? Uh, a purple car. A purple car? Um, that would be great. Oh, there's a shelf over there that's purple. You're right. What's, um, what's something that you use when you're at the art table? Uh, yes. purple marker. A purple marker? What purple else? Purple paint. Purple paint? Great. What else? Purple. Different than markers. What else could you purple. use? Purple pencil. Pencil? Crayons. Crayons? Great idea. Hmm. What's something else that's purple? Purple scissors. Purple scissors? What else do you see in this room that's purple? Ooh. What? Uh, that um, little shape. Oh, that. yes. The stained glass windows that were an art project. There's purple on that. That's a great thing. There's all sorts of things that are purple. Yes. Um, that, um, there's some of those letters. Yes, there are letters over there that are purple as well. So when the Bible was written a long, long time ago, purple was extra special because it was super expensive to make purple fabric. So purple was an extra special color. For you and I, we can just pick whatever color we like to wear and it's, it's whatever color we like and it all kind of costs the same amount. But in Jesus, when Jesus was alive, purple was the most expensive color of fabric to make. I'm curious, what's your favorite color to wear? Mine's teal. Teal, yes, mine too. What's your favorite color to wear? Um, yellow. Yellow, oh, I like yellow. What's your favorite color to wear? Orange. Orange, excellent. Great. So today's story is not about teal or yellow or orange. Today's story is about purple fabric. Are you ready? All right, here we go. There's going to be some actions I need your help with, I think. Um, and what's going to be on each page? In the name of the Father. Not Woo! in the name of the Father. There's going to be a green wormy. You're right. All right, here we go. Paul, the story is called Lydia. She's the woman we're going to learn about today. Paul traveled to many places teaching people about Jesus. One night, God told Paul, go to another country and teach people there. So Paul listened to God. So he got on a big boat. Up and down and over the waves. The boat went. Let me see your waves. Great job. And he went sailing to a far away country. When he got there, Paul taught people and he said, Jesus loves you. Can you say Jesus loves you? Jesus loves you. Great job. And he also said, Jesus came to earth to teach us how to live and has saved us from all our sins. An amazing woman named Lydia heard Paul teaching. And unlike many other women at the time, Lydia had her own business. She sold beautiful, expensive purple cloth to rich and famous people. Lydia said to Paul, tell me more about Jesus. I want to learn everything I can about the Son of God. All right, here's our picture. I see the wormy. When you see the green wormy, I want you to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger. All right, let's do a quick review. Who's this guy? His name is pa Paul. Paul, very good. And what did he do? He rode a boat to get a very, to a very far away country. And what did he tell everybody? 
that Jesus loves Jesus loves you, that's right. And one of the people who heard that news was this woman. What's her name? Lydia. Lydia. What's special about Lydia? Uh, she makes purple fabric. She makes purple fabric. That's right. Great listening, guys. Here we go. Let's hear the rest of the story. Paul told Lydia about Jesus' teaching. Love everyone, he said, and share with others, he continued. And most importantly, he said, remember that God loves you forever. Lydia was amazed, and she said, I want to be one of Jesus' followers. Will you baptize me and everyone who lives in my house? So Lydia and Paul and all the people who lived in Lydia's house went to the water. They splashed in the cool wetness, and Paul baptized each of them. And he said, I baptize you. I want you to grab the water just like Paul would have done. In the name of the Father... And then he put the water over their head and in the name of the, what do you think oh, came next? Spirit. Oh, that's one of them. In the name of the Son came next. And then what comes Holy last? Spirit. The name of the Holy Spirit. That's right. And Lydia said, thank you. Will you stay at my house with my family? Paul said, sure. And so he went to stay with Lydia. And Lydia became a follower of Jesus. She was very generous, using her money to help many people. Jesus loves you, she told as many people as she could. Jesus has saved you from your sins. Follow Jesus. He is the Son of God. Many people learned from Lydia, the amazing woman who sold purple cloth. All right, when you see the green wormy on, your pay, on the page, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger. Do you see it? Here's the green wormy over here by Lydia and all of Lydia's family. What? Paul doing? Baptizing. Baptizing. What does? Water. Putting water on their heads three times. What were they in the name of? Baptizing the name of the Holy Father, Holy name of the Son, Son and, and, the the and the name of the Holy Spirit. That's right. We still do baptisms like that today. Kids and adults and everybody can be baptized. Mm -hmm. We pour water on their heads in that same way, just like Paul did thousands of years ago in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then Lydia decided that she was going to tell other people what Paul told her. So Lydia, what did Lydia start telling other people? What do you think? Um, that Jesus loves. That Jesus loves you. Very good listening. She told all the people that she knew, I want you to name for me one person that you know that today you could say Jesus loves you to. Who's one person that you could say Jesus loves you to today? What do you think? Parents. Oh, parents. That's a great one. Who else? Uncle. An uncle. That's a great Friends. idea. Friends. That's another great idea. Uh, your mom. Your mom. That's a great idea. What about your teachers? Teachers. Could you, could you tell your teachers and folks at... All teachers... It's summertime, so you don't have your teacher teachers, but what about the folks who are here with you at day camp, at camp, at Joy Kids, or wherever you are? Adults in your life? Could you tell them Jesus loves you? Absolutely. What about babies? Oh, you could tell babies that Jesus loves you too. That would be great. Today was a great story about Lydia who learned about Jesus and Jesus' love for her and then told other people about it too. And we can do that as well. All right, it's time for us to pray. Are you ready? Praying hands either like this or like this. You decide how you prefer. Great choice. And repeat after me. Are you ready? Dear God, thank you for Lydia, the woman who sold purple fabric. Thank you that she also told lots of people Jesus loves you. Help me to tell someone else today that same news. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job, friends. We end the way we began. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Thank you for your help, friends.